This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. There. Is that better? <laughs> Abby just told me there was no sound. That would be bad. For a podcast, it would be bad uh, if there were no sound. So I'll start all of that over. Today's a two-for day. Scheduling yesterday was just a mess. Today's going to be better. It's tr- time for a terrific Tuesday. So um want to try and get a two friend today. Might have to save a little bit of this for the radio show, but we'll see how it goes. This week, I want to talk to you about customers. And as is usually the case, this topic comes up for me when I'm having a bad customer experience. <laughs> or, or maybe I'm just so focused on this that all of my, that, that my interactions tend to highlight bad customer experiences. So I'm going to tell a little bit of this story. I'll, I know I'll have to finish this up on the radio show, but I have a service provider that I, I am their customer. I am trying to gain services from them. I have already paid them, in fact, and professional services and cannot schedule a meeting with them. So yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, sent an email. Here's 18 hours out of my week where we can schedule a meeting, right? Just pick any of the 18. And in fact, if these don't work, here's my calendar. Pick any time you want. Sends me an email back outside of that time frame. I just, I don't, I don't understand. So, so as we talk about customer service and customer experience this week, the number one thing I want you to think about who's your, who is your customer? Now, if you're working inside a business, it's very popular right now, and it has been for a long time, to say, well, this other department is my cust- is your customer. Not really. In a sense, I, I mean, I understand the sentiment, but the reality is every business has a set of customers. Otherwise, you just have a hobby. If you have a business, you have a set of customers. Your job, the purpose of the, that business, the reason it exists is to solve problems for that customer. Understand that customer, regardless of what your job, your role, your title is. Understand who that customer is and solve problems for them, and you make yourself more valuable. You should make yourself more valuable to the company. You definitely make yourself more valuable to the customer. And when you create value, you win. Now, I understand. I've, I've, I've experienced, experienced this myself that sometimes, especially when you do this inside the context of a company, you can, um, Intimidate people. <laughs> it never, I, I won't say it never bothered me, but I, I was always willing to challenge, right? I even did that to the president of the company one time, walked into, uh, was invited as an observer and <laughs> kind of took the meeting over because he just wasn't thinking right. Now, you know, ultimately it's up to the leader to decide, but what you can do individually is focus on your customer, deliver value to the customer, and you 
in the long run, you will always win. Now, for me, in that particular circumstance, that wasn't a place where I needed to be long term, and I left. But the point is that you can never go wrong focusing on what the customer needs. Never. And so the the real question from yesterday was, uh, is that the most important thing? A lot of the, there's this kind of school of thought that says you can either focus on customers, the team, or shareholders or profits. Personally, I believe you have to, you have to focus on the customer. Yes, you have to have a happy team. I understand that, but you can't afford a happy team if you don't have customers. And the shareholders gain no value. Hey, Joe, good morning. Shareholders gain no value if your customers are not paying you money. So before you can worry about profits or shareholder value or worry about making your team happy, you got to worry about having some customers. And you do that by solving problems for them. So the customer always, always the customer comes first. And then today's quote. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. Almost thought that said dog. Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. You have to do the right thing over and over and over. Just like my example where that company wasn't the right place for me. You still have to deliver value. And doing the right thing over and over ultimately leads to your success. It's easy for us to slip into this way of thinking that the customer should be happy. And I think for my service provider story that I was telling as we got started, I, I, I think what has happened to him is he has slipped into the mindset of, well, they're my customer. They should be happy because they're my customer. No, I should be happy because you solved my problem for me. And if you can't do that, there are other people who can. You ain't the only game in town, right? And you are not the only game in town. They were looking for somebody when they found you. <laughs> Good morning, Catherine. You were, they were looking for somebody when they found you. If, if things, if you can't solve their problem and make them feel like a million bucks while you're doing it, they'll go find somebody else. So focus, focus. Focus. Focus on the customer. All right. That's it. As I mentioned, it's uh, Tuesday, not Wednesday. Tuesday. It is Tuesday all day long. Uh, means it's radio show day, radio show day. Be sure and tune in for that. 1450 AM, 105.3 FM. If you're in or around Huntsville or you can listen live online, WTKIRadio.com or watch right here on Facebook. Uh, probably not on Instagram. We have issues with that from the radio station. Uh, but you can watch on Facebook. Go to talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. All one big giant word, talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. Uh, that'll get you to the right place where you can watch the show, comment live, and participate live. All right. Um, if you can't solve the problem, you know something. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. Love being with you every day. Listen, if you get any value at all from our time here together, I would appreciate it very much if you would share not just this video, but the whole channel with uh, someone that you know in your network, not the whole network, just one person. Send them a, a, a direct message and say, hey, here's a video or a channel that you need to keep up with. They'll love you for it, and I will too. That's it for today. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. Talk to you on the radio, and then be back here in the morning. Take care.